This demo is going to show how you can use IBM Spectrum Protect Plus along with OpenShift Container Storage, which are the operators on OpenShift Container Platform, to back up and recover both persistent data and metadata or project resource data. In addition to the IBM Spectrum Protect Plus server, we also installed the Container Backup Support component and OpenShift APIs for Data Protection, OADP, this operator exposes the Valero APIs for backup and recovery. So let's first look at IBM Spectrum Protect Plus. This is the opening dashboard. We don't have anything configured yet. First, we can look at the policies that are available. In addition to the default policies, we can also create our own. So I could add a, a policy here and call it daily six hour snapshot. And I want to choose OpenShift. I'm gonna retain my snapshots for one day. I'm going to do it every six hours. I'm gonna do a snapshot. In addition to that, I want to back up to an off-platform location, retain that for 15 days. I'll do it once a day, save that. So we've got a new policy now. We can go ahead and apply that policy to a project. So the project that we're going to apply it to is called WordPress. And I've got it installed here on OpenShift. I'm logged again into the console for WordPress. And I've got a couple articles. Let's protect that application. We have a couple of OpenShift clusters here. So I'm going to choose the one that WordPress is installed in. And I can go down and find the namespace or project. So here it is here. I can either choose at the level of the namespace or project, or I can choose resources by label or just specifically by checking them. So I'm going to choose all three. So I have two persistent volumes, and then I have the resources for the project. This would be the pods, routes, any kind of resources that would be considered metadata to recreate the project. So let's select an SLA policy. I'm going to choose the new one I made. I'm going to save. So we don't want to wait here. So let's go ahead and do an ad hoc snapshot. So when it comes up, we have the choice of either doing a backup to off-platform or vSnap, or we can do a snapshot. So when we do a snapshot, we're doing two things. We're using OpenShift Container Storage and the Container Storage interface to create the snapshots. And we're also using the Valero Backup API to backup the project resources and copy them into an S3 bucket. So this job is starting now. While it's doing that, let's go look at a few things via a terminal window. So I have two terminal windows here. The top is logged into the cluster called perf2. The bottom is logged into Ceph or the OpenShift container storage cluster on the same OpenShift. So right now the bottom terminal is looking for the snapshots to be show up in Ceph. We can do volume snapshot class. And these are a result of installing OpenShift Container Storage. You will get two volume snapshot classes. One of them is for CephFS, which is our file mode or file type for volumes. And the other is uh, RBD, which is for the block volumes. So these have to be existing in order for the snapshot to be taken of the persistent volume. So let's go back and see how the job is doing. Looks like it's proceeding. It's currently doing an inventory, looking at the number of resources. So we have two PVCs, and then we have, for the resources, that would be the Valero backup, we have one. So when we get back to our terminal window, based on the volume snapshot classes, this was a RBD or a block volume. So we have two snapshots that are representing the two volumes. Now, if we select one of these, so it tells us the size of the snapshot, which is equal to the size of the volume. It tells you how many snapshots we have so far, gives you information on the features, 
And then it also shows you the parent, which is where the volume that the snapshot came from. So we can look at our job history. We were successful. Our daily six hour snapshot that we made happen immediately, we've backed up all three resources. If we go back here, we can also look at the Valero backup. So if we do an OC git backup and then the namespace of where OADP or the Valero is installed, there's the name of it. And if we do a Valero scribe backup and then the backup name, it will give us some information about the backup. You can also use the OC CLI or you can use the Valero client. It tells us the number of items that were backed up, whether it was successful, if there was any errors, so useful to be able to see that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete one of these articles. This is the what IBM Protect can do for your business as just a, a test that we can restore. Let's go ahead and just put this in the trash. We've lost one of our articles. Given that we're doing a, a backup and a snapshot, we should be able to recover. So the way that we recover is we need to have at least one snapshot that has the article that we want to recover. And we can do it from a couple different places, but one of the places is from here. So we can create a job. We'll go ahead and select restore. We're going to do an OpenShift restore. And then let's search for WordPress. We find the three resources that we did a snapshot and backup for. So again, the PVCs are a snapshot using container storage interface and OpenShift container storage and the volume snapshot classes. So we're going to select the persistent data because that is where the article actually is. So we're not going to restore the project. The project is okay, but the data now we want to get the article back. Next, and we're going to do from snapshot because that's what we have available. We're going to do it on demand and then this will show us what snapshots are available. So this is the last one that had the article. Choose that time. Go next. In order to restore because the application is working right now, we want to change the name of the PVC. We want to keep the application up working as long as possible and only restore once we have the new PVCs available. So we'll hit next. Going to use the same storage class. So we'll hit next, next, and then submit. So similar to our snapshot and backup job, this also will run as a job. So let's just do a watch on the OC git pods PVC. What we expect to happen is that there will be two additional PVCs created that will be the ones that we're going to restore to. And again, they are created from the snapshots that were done at the time that we ran the job in Spectrum Protect Plus. So they were created that way using OpenShift Container Storage. And now we're going to use those snapshots to create two new PVCs in the WordPress project. Let's look at what we have now. We have new PVCs, so we have the, the name I gave them, dash restore. So we want to modify the deployment to run on these new PVCs. We'll get out of our watch here, do a clear. So let's go ahead now and edit the deployment to use the new PVCs in our WordPress application. So let's edit the deployment for the first one, WordPress MySQL. And let's just search for volume. And here's what we want to edit. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and edit the WordPress. Same thing, we'll search for volume. And we can go ahead now and just add the restore here. If we look at the pods, they should have restarted. And we can see they've been going for a short amount of time, 12 seconds, 39 seconds. Let's go ahead and refresh here. And there it is. The article now is back. So now that we've restored the WordPress application and brought back our article using a snapshot that was created via OpenShift Container Storage, we want to now look at how could we restore the entire WordPress application 
including the persistent data, to a new OpenShift cluster. To do that, I've logged into a second cluster, and it also has OpenShift container storage, uh, OADP, for the Valero APIs. And we've also installed the Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support component. Similar except different is the first cluster, and the first cluster, in addition, has IBM Spectrum Protect Plus server. So in order to restore to an additional or alternate cluster, you only need to have the Spectrum Protect Plus container backup support component installed on both clusters. So once we know that we want to do the restore, instead of doing a, a backup using Snapshot, we're going to choose backup to vSnap. vSnap is an external server that we have access to, and we can now start that. That will start a job, and we can look at the job here. This is similar to what we did before when we backed up using OpenShift container storage snapshots and backed up using the Valero API. But in this case, it's going to copy that data into the vSnap server so that it is outside of OpenShift, and that will allow us to copy it to a new OpenShift cluster. If we do a watch on OC git pods, we can see our two backup pods that are being used to copy the data off platform to the vSnap server are currently running. So once they're done, the copy will be completed. In addition to copying the PVC data, the Valero backup that we looked at earlier in the demo is also being copied off. We now see that the backup pods are terminating. Once it's completed, we can go back and look at the job in Spectrum Protect Plus console. At the top here, our job has completed successfully. Everything has been copied off platform. So now, how do we use the data now to restore to our new cluster? First, let's just look at our cluster and let's go into the project and we'll search for WordPress. Again, this is on our second cluster, so we have the namespace. But when we look at the namespace, there's absolutely nothing in it. What we want to do now is restore. So this could be a scenario such as that the first cluster is your test cluster, the second cluster your UAT cluster. So this is a way that you could do that. Similar to the way that we did before, we're going to create a job for restore. Choose OpenShift. We're going to search for the WordPress that is on the cluster we want to copy from. We definitely want the resources. And we want the two restore PVCs because those are the ones that are currently operating in the deployment. Those are the three we want to restore. So now instead of from snapshot, we're going to do from copy, type of restore on demand, site, and the source of the data is from the primary cluster. We do have a restore point available. The one that's most recent is shows up automatically. We want to use the same names because as we saw, nothing is existing in the namespace right now. Choose next. We want to restore to an alternate cluster, which is perf8. It is the same namespace. So we say next, next, submit. Okay. We can look at running jobs and it's going through and finding the resources that we want to restore. So perf2 is on the top, perf8 is on the bottom. Let's do a watch on OC git pods pvc. If we look now, the restore pods are creating. They're going to populate the pvcs with the snapshots. These pods are similar to on the copy from the source cluster. They are created to do this job, and once they're done, they will terminate, and then the application pods can come online. Now we see our restore pods are terminating, starting the restore of cluster resources. So these are going to be the pods, the routes, everything that WordPress needs to run. Now that this has completely restored, one thing really important here to note is that when you restore to a second or alternate cluster, it's really important that the cluster scoped resources change. This route is now for perf8, not for perf2. So perf2 is where it came from, and it's the route we were using, but we need it to be a new route for this cluster. 
This is done specifically via OADP and it uses what's called an OpenShift plugin to make these changes to cluster scoped resources. So let's copy this route and we'll put it up here in our browser. And we see right away that we're in our WordPress site and look at this. We have both articles. So we have restored to a second cluster by using the vSnap copy capability that copies the snapshot in Valero backup from one cluster to another cluster. Thank you very much for watching the demo. I hope it was useful and see you next time.